Hi all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to share a tragic story with you out of Spencer, Oklahoma. The Oklahoma County Sheriff's Department said that around 2 a.m. on the morning of September 30th of 2020, they responded to a call on Woodland Park Terrace. Upon arriving, police said they found the dead body of 34-year-old Shantae Lynn Brown in the home. They said her body was covered in cuts and bruises that appeared to be consistent with a severe beating. They also said that upon first glance, it was obvious that a violent crime had occurred in the house. In the house, along with Shantae Brown's deceased body, were her husband, 34-year-old Joshua Brown, and their three children. Detectives said they interviewed the three children, ages 7, 14, and 15, who were found in the home, and the 14-year-old gave grisly details about how they watched their father beat their mother to death. The teen said that hours before their mother's death, the children watched their father beat her with a handgun, a shoe, a belt, and a flagpole. Police executed a search warrant on the home where they say they found evidence to support the child's claims. A spokesperson for the Sheriff's Department said the scene the police found was gruesome. They said there was a lot of blood in the home, lots of holes in the walls where police said it was obvious that the walls had been punched and kicked in, and it was clear to them that a violent struggle had taken place there in front of the three children. During their search, police said they found a broken pistol that was covered in blood and hair. They believe that Shantae was pistol ripped, whipped so severely that part of the gun shattered. According to the 14-year-old child, not only did they witness their father severely beat and murder their mother, but he forced them to clean up her blood and told them not to tell anybody about what he did. But... Police say they were able to obtain video surveillance of the murder, so Joshua was arrested on suspicion of first-degree murder, domestic abuse, causing bodily injury, and assault. He admitted to police that he punched and strangled his wife to death in front of their three children. Police said he admitted to beating her with a belt, a shoe, a flagpole, and a pistol, and that he just went too far. He just went too far. This wasn't the first time Joshua Brown went too far, though. According to an affidavit of probable cause from 2016, Brown was arrested and charged with multiple gun charges after getting into an altercation with friends at their home after a night of drinking. The affidavit said that Brown and his friends argued about the military when Brown went home armed himself with an AR-15 and a 40 caliber pistol. Then he returned to the home of his friends, wearing a hockey mask, described by police as similar to the mask worn by Jason Voorhees in the Friday the 13th movies, and began firing the guns into the air. Court documents from this incident show that even though police recovered over 25 shell casings in the area where Brown was shooting his guns that night, Nobody was hurt, so the case was ultimately dismissed. So, back in 2016, everybody already had all the information they needed about this man to know that he wasn't right in the head. It was a potential danger to others, but it was ignored. The man put on a hockey mask like Jason Voorhees and shot guns in the air because he got into an argument with his friends. But... It was disregarded. Can you imagine what else those poor children probably witnessed from this maniac during the course of their lives? They're now scarred for life after what they witnessed because nobody did anything about his previous dangerous behavior. He was obviously a ticking time bomb and he finally exploded all over his family on that tragic day. According to People.com Crime, Shantae's sister said that Shantae was a beautiful soul, and she didn't even know anything bad was going on. So, I gather from that that either she and Shantae weren't close, 
or that maybe Shantae was afraid to tell anybody what was going on in her marriage for fear that he would hurt her or their children. Thank God he didn't kill the children to keep them quiet. After their mother's murder, police say the children were placed with Children's Protective Services until they could determine if Shantae's family could take them or not. Such a tragic situation that probably could have been prevented if Joshua Brown had been taken seriously that night back in 2016. Maybe he could have received proper treatment for a mental illness or even been imprisoned for endangering the lives of his friends or something. I can't believe this case was dismissed, considering the severity of his actions that night. It goes to his state of mind and his tendency to act out extremely violently when he gets upset. I can only imagine the fear and tension those children must have felt in that home when he was around. They were probably terrified to upset him in any way, Shantae included. I'm a firm believer in when people show you who they really are, believe them. And he showed everyone who he really was that night in 2016. Maybe some believed him, maybe they didn't. Maybe he blamed it on the alcohol and everyone just dismissed it as a bad night. Who knows? But, if they did, it was the worst possible mistake they could have made, and his family has now paid the price for it. I pray for those children, that they receive the extensive help that they're going to need to get through this. And, I pray for the people who will try to help them, because after knowing they were forced to clean up their own mother's blood, after they watched their father beat her to death, I wouldn't even know where to start. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the time you spend with me, and I'll see you on my next video.